All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're gonna to be looking at Copify because they've updated the software and we're gonna be looking at Copify AI version two. So they have done some big updates. We'll go look at what those are. But this, uh, so far out of all the tools that I'm testing, Copify does stand out because it is a tool um, in this case, I am going to compare it just slightly to Zimwriter because uh, you do input your own open AI key into the software. And you basically, it's kind of like, um, I think I heard that uh, kind of an analogy for this is that you have your gasoline and then you have your car um, and you, the open AI is your gasoline and your software like Zimrider or Copify AI is the car that you're going to be driving um, and so forth. So you kind of use utilize both. Now you can use open AI directly, but it's not going to have all the prompts and all the fancy um, ways to build out your content very quickly. And that is where these tools come in handy. And if this is your style where you want to just directly input your API key and you don't mind paying one time, they only have one plan, $59, and um, you actually, when we explain the pricing, um, they have one of their models when we come in here. Uh, when we go into the workflows, this is what uh, Copify looks like right off the bat, uh, the version two. But we go into workflows, they have several different workflows to choose from. But this one right here, outline mode, where you would probably spend most of your time, they will allow you to create unlimited content, unlimited articles, and that's a big change. Um, the rest of them do um, count towards the 100 let's see what it is 130 or 150 per month so 150 workflow credits per month with all of the other workflows right here um but if you're using the outline mode right here then you can create as many articles as you want so really cool stuff we'll go back over to the page real quick so like i said the pricing it's only 59 dollars one time and you're going to get a uh, pretty fancy uh, tool that now has upgraded to GPT-4. Um, you are gonna need access to GPT-4, which most people don't have access to it yet uh, with the open AI. So it's not a chat GPT uh, plus account that you have access to GPT-4. It's actually the open AI uh, playground where you're gonna need the access and they have been very limited on giving out access. I'm not even on the waiting list because I just don't really, um, you know, to be honest, I haven't had a good experience using GPT-4 um, inside of my uh, chat GPT plus account so i'm not really too concerned about not having gpt4 i think that it def definitely needs optimized and um, it's not going to be f um, really really ready to go to the masses um, for another probably six months in my estimation so um, it is getting good reviews this one bad review right here um, is just that uh, somebody had issues with their api key so that's kind of not fair to give a bad review just because you had an api um, key issue um, that has nothing to do with the actual software uh, but everybody else is giving it really, really good feedback. All right, so that is Copify. We're going to go and just do some testing right away. So uh, I'll just say this one last thing before we get it started. There's a ton of AI um, writers out, and I've reviewed dozens and dozens and dozens of them. Um, now I'm going to be kind of be putting them in, in uh, kind of different categories or boxes. And Copify and Zimwriter are kind of unique in their own where they really are just providing the easy to use um, framework or uh, interface to be able to take open AI uh, content to a whole new level by basically having adding on all the prompts on top of it and but giving you the freedom to use your own API access key to create as much content or as little content as you wish and it separates them from all the other tools like Jasper um, and copy AI and so forth that are going to charge you monthly no matter how much you use um, and so forth so um, the Copify is the only other one that is like Zimwriter that I'm, I mean, I, I'm sure that I've heard there's a, another one. I'll try to get a review up as well. It's called Koala. Um, there are other tools I'm aware that that do similar to this, but these are the two that I have uh, tested um, thoroughly, Zimwriter and Copify. So Copify version two, here we go. Um, so we're going to go and um, outline mode. We're just going to click on that. Um, we're, we need a, a folder, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder, and I'm going to say lose weight report one of my sites and push add um, weight loss blog. Okay, so we added that. So we are going to go and grab one of our titles. So we've got all these titles over here. So I'm going to go and grab the title for this one right here. 
And this is actually asking for the title. And then we'll come back over here and grab the keyword that we're going for. And we'll just go and put that in right there. And then we have tone of voice right here. So I'm just gonna say, usually just go with friendly. And then we're just gonna put next right there. Um, you can see it's a simple layout right here. I don't know if they have um, they, uh, a dark mode or a light mode. It's definitely defaults in dark mode. I don't know if they have a light mode, but I like dark mode anyways. Um, another couple of things is chat and AI database. Those are um, coming soon. They are not available right now, but that's cool. You'll have a chat feature where you basically can just use Copify and not even have to go to chat GPT. And then the AI database is really cool because um, one of the only other tools that I've seen that done with is Marmoff, which I've recently done a review as well. That's available on AppSumo as well. But you're able to train the AI in your brands and different things that you wish. And then you can basically put in a hashtag uh, followed by a keyword term, and then it's going to know exactly what you're talking about. So you can keep your own database to get very specific content. If you're doing uh, having a e-commerce e website or a brand or something like that, and you want it to be very accurate when it writes content for you, this is going to be very handy. So super cool stuff coming down the pipeline for them. Let's go over here and see. I don't know if they have a public roadmap. We're going to go and check that out real quick. I don't see a public roadmap. They might have one, but I don't see easy access to it. All right, so we'll come back over here and we're back into the outline mode. And you can see that they did properly label this as unlimited. You can use it as much as you want. You can add your heading right here, or you can bulk add. So right here we would add, and then you just push add after you add that in. And then you're gonna go ahead and manually kind of copy and paste, or we can generate or we can uh, go with SERP mode. I'm not really sure what that is, but we'll try it out. And then bulk add, we can just copy and paste all of them in right there if we wanted to. I'm gonna push on the SERP mode for fun and see what that's going to do for us. You can see that there is a status bar right here in dark blue, and you can see right here that it is moving forward to the right side. So it's doing something, some type of analysis. Okay, so um, I think I can see what it's doing right here. And this is what is going to be different and separate this from other tools. I believe this is separating this from even Zim Writer. Uh, I know some of you would probably want me to do a comparison between Zim Writer and Copify because they both are very um, awesome tools and they're both uh, similar in nature as well because they let you hook up or your API to OpenAI. But um, what I'm seeing right here that I believe Zim Writer is going to be coming out within their next version <clears throat> is that uh, we just push the SERP button and then it's going out and finding the top ranking articles for that keyword. And then we can actually come out here and build our own outline based on what we're seeing over here. So that's really, really cool that we can do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, back out of this. So that's what the SERP one is going to, it's going to take you longer, but it is going to go out there and find, uh, allow you to use the SERP engines um, and basically kind of do what SEO minion would do for you um, based on, uh, but it's going to allow you to select from uh, multiple websites. And a lot of the tools we see are already doing this, but it's nice to see that they have this feature in here. Um, we can also generate automatically. So we'll see how fast that takes. I imagine this will be a lot faster than the um, SEO mode. So we just clicked that for AI to go out and just generate for us. And it was very, very fast. So um, create a meal plan, set realistic goals, adequate sleep, drink water. Um, so it's giving us like a 10 step plan. What was our keyword? Uh, get your uh, beach, get your beach body 10 tips for losing weight in the summer. And it it's doing 10 tips. That is awesome to see. Um, and then you have, you can add more headings right there, but we're good. So we're going to push next right there. So I really like the layout. I really like the navigation of this. Let me zoom in a little bit more for you guys. So you guys can see what's going on. All right. So keywords to include, uh, I don't know where this came from, where it got all these keywords, but look at all this exercise, reduce fiber, actually. So this is insane right here, guys, because this is, uh, Zim Writer does this as well, but no other softwares are really doing this, uh, where you can actually include all of your so your keywords that you want it to write in here. Now, Shutterstock right here, that isn't one, so we would definitely go and want to remove that keyword right there. It's not gonna hurt us by having it in there, but it's definitely not a weight loss keyword. And of course, if you go in and use Neuron Writer Phrase, Surfer SEO, or any of your other on-page SEO softwares that probably are gonna do a better job than this, then I like how you, this will do this on the fly and come up with some good keywords, but 
Um, if you already have a batch of keywords that you want to include in here, you would go and use Neuron Writer, you would do your keyword lookup, and then you would find all your NLP keyword terms, and you would just paste them in on this step right here. But we're gonna go ahead and just keep this one in right here. Um, or you can even skip this step as well, or you can go into SERP mode. And from this point on, I actually do wanna click SERP mode um, and see what it's gonna do for us. So SERP mode, it took those keywords. Uh, that's where it got those keywords from is what it looks like it just did. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and push next right here. Now, this is really cool. It's also telling us that we're at our estimated word count is gonna be 1100 words to 1600 words. That's a totally um, you know normal article length these days, um, 11 headings about, and we can choose our model. Uh, we got the DaVinci 003, which was um, the default that I was using. I don't think that if you choose GPT-4 right here, that you're gonna get it. If you don't have, if your API does not have access to GPT-4, it's gonna default to one of these right here. I'm gonna select 3.5 Turbo because it's 10 times less cost than the DaVinci and it is the same technology. So I'm gonna go ahead and it's just, and it's faster. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. Enable auto images, Let's, why not? Let's just go ahead and select that so we can test it out and push launch. So this is gonna be your go-to article writer that if I wasn't explaining everything, um, we would be able to do this in literally probably two minutes. And so you're gonna be able to write content very quickly using this tool uh, right here. There's also some other uh, some other workflows that we're going to go and test out. So it did give us a relevant image. You can see right here while I'm talking, it, we're going to be able to see it uh, right for us. It's giving us a remaining estimated time under there uh, at 142 seconds, 141 seconds. Um, right now it's writing step one, create a meal plan. Obviously that was not a picture of a meal or anything like that. So it's trying, but it's um, that's gonna be somewhere where it's gonna fail a little bit. We're gonna have to change these images out. Um, I find that if you're going to, if it's, if, it's, if it's gonna be less than half the time getting the image right or that you're not gonna be satisfied with the image, probably don't click on the image uh, creator because it, it's gonna end up just probably um, taking more time to actually remove the image and add images uh, like right here, set realistic goals. Um, that, I mean, it's just a picture of a flower. So, I mean, it's not really goal setting uh, oriented, get adequate sleep. Someone is sleeping right there. So that one would work. So I I'd say if it's uh, going to probably get half of them, right, then maybe it's worth it because then you can just go in there and switch the other ones out. Also it's creating an image for every single headline. And I would rather um, probably estimate that for 10 headings, uh, maybe having three, maybe four images, five at most, so not 10 images. So I would want only half of the images. So therefore I probably also would maybe Maybe go with this and just remove five of them. You'll find a workflow that works great for you. We'll come back in just a minute uh, when this is done. Okay, so that took a couple minutes. Uh, not too bad. Nothing that you would get too impatient about. Uh, I don't think that it uh, is any faster or slower than Zim Writer um, right off the bat. We got a 2300 word article. The estimation was a little bit off. I'd say about 500 words off considering we didn't even add FAQs or anything like that. Um, you would probably come in here and want to, um, you know, break up some of these big paragraphs. Um, right over here, I think that some of the paragraphs are just a little too big and they could refine some of the prompting, but overall it did pretty good. Um, images wise, I think it got about three out of 10, um, correct that we would need to change. Um, but overall pretty good. We can click on the go to editor. I think the content, um, sounds good. I read through some of the, um, content seems like it follows a, a workflow and it has a summary at the end uh, of generally. Like this is a giant paragraph right here. So you're going to want to come and break this up a couple of times, actually, just like that. You can see that Grammarly works inside of here. So we would just come in here and we, and we can uh, take its suggestions and so forth. Um, you can come over here and continue writing. You can move the dial of creativity and length and generate more content. You can also choose what model you want right there as well. Um, and then you can publish over here by selecting a website right here, connecting your website to it. I like that featured image you can go and click your uh, an image to upload as the featured image. So I like that, that you can literally do an all in one in here, um, other minus keyword research. You can basically have a tool at your disposal with, uh, with an all in one. And you can even go all the way up to uploading the featured image and publishing this to your website. Um, switching out images, we can click on this and we can, 
Oh, we can also go into light mode right here as well. So that's really cool. I like that. I didn't see that earlier. Um, I'm left clicking on the image. I don't see a way that I can change that image. I'm going to go back to edit, um, expand, shorten, rewrite. I just don't see, um, maybe if I left click and just push delete, it does get rid of the image. So that's cool. So I would just come in here and actually just get rid of the images. Um, that are just not making any sense at all. Uh, that food one's okay. Uh, probably get rid of that support. That's not, that's nothing right there as well. And on the fly, we just get uh, fix some of that stuff up right there. We have a couple of images already, um, but we would probably need to come in and add a couple more images for a blog post. That's this large, uh, featured image. We could use that as a featured image. I don't know how that's going to end up uh, coming in, but I don't think it's going to come in as a featured image. Um, all right, so then you can go with share that is actually coming soon. So how do we copy and paste this into our site? So we know we have a publish button over here, title, type, category. Um, not really sure how you would copy this other than doing a control A. It does copy all this and a control copy. And I don't know if, uh, let's go into our site, go into new post. And I'm zoomed really far out right now. I'm going to paste that in. It does keep the images. So that's good. So it must be copying HTML. Um, we, we would need to go in and add the title and add um, our featured image and so forth. But it looks pretty good. I think the content came out really, really good. I don't know why they embed this written by copy, uh, Copyfy. Uh, maybe that's in the settings. I'm not sure, but that's super annoying. We already paid for the software, and uh, I know that most people are not going to want to have written by Copyfy. We're going to want to delete that every time. Um, it would be nice if they just didn't include that. Uh, but overall, the layout and everything, really, really slick, really, really slick uh, user interface. Really like it. All right, so let's go out of this. Um, I don't know if it's going to automatically save this for us or not. Pretty sure it, it, it should. And that is one of the features that they updated, which was um, that they uh, now save your work. I wanted to see about their, their uh, site. Let's see if we can go to the change log. So here's their site and here's the change log and the roadmap. So we can go check, take a look at the roadmap real quick. Okay. That nothing's opening right there, but we can go to the change log for sure. And here's where we can see what they've actually done. Um, upcoming features, team support, better custom workflow mode, uh, workflow scheduling and more. Um, but right here we have some bug fixes and so forth, but the, uh, the new features integration with chat GBT API, um, multi-language support, uh, three new workflow modes. So they added the rewrite mode, the roundup post mode. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show, I'm going to try to show that I need to speed through this. Um, and the people also ask mode dark and light mode. So that's new. Um, previously it was just the dark mode and multiple WordPress website support. So you can actually add multiple websites. Super cool. UI changed. We've made some major changes to the user interface, making it uh, much simpler and easier to use. Improved SEO audit, allowing you to audit up to 20 competitors. Outline builder, outline workflow. I already showed some of these already. New document editor, better WordPress uh, publishing, um, auto images support for workflows, and more efficient credit system, only charging for successful workflows and so forth. And uh, being able to save, how it automatically saves all your previous outputs, that was not available in version one as well. So that's a huge uh, improvement that uh, you're able, that it basically saves everything for you. So as you can see, um, content audits, we did uh, uh, use the SEO feature when we pushed the SEO button. And that's what's going to take one of our audits right there. So we probably wouldn't use that in our workflow if we were, you know, turning out hundreds of articles per month. Uh, we'd probably save those for pillar content and so forth forth. We have our words generated so far right there. Workflowed credits. It did not take any of those because we did use the unlimited. So super cool stuff. We'll go back over to workflows. We're going to spend the rest of our time going over the other couple workflows. So we have um, roundup post right here, and this is going to be right roundup posts featuring the best products. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and lose weight report, and let's just go and say uh, top five um, treadmills under 800 in 2023. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Actually, we'll go and do some research real quick. 
So we'll click on this site here and I just show you kind of how we would do this. Um, and really what we can do is we can actually just go over to Amazon and Amazon will tell us everything we need to know because we can come in here and just literally type that in. And then we can go over here and just go with four stars and up and whatever's ranking right here um, that's not sponsored, we can literally go and right click open one, two, three, four, and we'll just click on best sellers right here and grab another treadmill. This Nordic Track T series is right at the $800 limit. So we will go with that one for number five. And I think you're going to see how amazingly cool this is because we're going to come through here um, and we're going to be able to go in for keywords, top five treadmills under 800. I think we're just going to go literally treadmills under 500 or under 800. Sorry. Tone of voice. And then we're going to push next and then check this out, guys. This is where other softwares, um, you're going to do a more manual work, even in Zim Writer. Zim Writer is great, um, but you're going to do more manual work. You're going to have to copy and paste the background in order to get this done for you. Um, seemingly, copy, Copify does this automatically. It's going to use its technology. And this is what you're paying that $59 for, guys. Um, Copify is going to go out there to the internet, go to this website right here, to this exact site. And it's going to take the content from um, all of these, right? So I'm going to take this and put that in right here. And we're going to add that. And then we're going to go into the next one. We're going to copy. We're going to come back in here super fast. And we're going to add that one. And then we've got three more to go. We'll just copy and paste, add, copy, come back over here paste add and then our final one right here at $800 the Nordic Trek and we're going to paste that one in and make sure to push this add button and we've got five right here and um, Copify is going to go out to that exact URL and scrape it and so that means that Copify has scraping Zim Writer will have scraping um, in the next version seven coming out in May um, just to answer that question, if you made it this far in the video, then you'll have that little gem of knowledge as well. Roundup post beta right here, topics to cover. So we have comfort, durability. So we can come in here. I'm going to go to this last Nordic track one and see um, capacity. So we po probably want weight capacity as one, um, something that it's going to focus on. So um, durability. We're going to use durability. We're going to use um, width. Um, it's actually going to be track width. We're going to use pros, cons, and then one more. We're going to use weight capacity. Something like that, right? So we have some in there. You can also generate them automatically, but I actually want to add those in. And then we're going to push next add a question so we can actually come over to Google again and um, let's see, come back over here and see if we can get some questions that people are asking like right over here. What is the best and most cost effective treadmill? So we can copy that and come back into Copify. So you can see how you could really put this together really quickly. Let's just add three of these just to show you uh, what is the best treadmill for home. We're going to copy that one, go back into Copify, add that one in, and let's just do one more. What is the best treadmill that you don't need a subscription for? What is the a good amount of spend on a treadmill? Those are all good questions. Uh, we're just going to go with this third one right here. Put that in, push add, and push next. Estimated work count up to 25. We know it's probably um, low estimations um, from what it gave us last time, but we have five products that we're rounding up. We can go with uh, whatever one we want to go with, and I'm going to go with the turbo and enable auto images. I am going to select this so you guys can see if it actually accurately grabs any of those images or not from a roundup post or not. We're going to click that and push launch, and we will be back in a minute. And you can see it right in front of us writing. It is writing away and it is following our structure, adding cons and pros. Of course, we I'm not going to be able to do that in this review, but like comparing the page, the content that's on the page and see how well the scraper and the AI work. Um, you would want to go and kind of fact check and make sure that it's actually, you know, 90 plus percent accurate in what it's actually scraping and what it's writing for us. So you don't want to just take this and go pay, uh, post it without actually gaining a confidence level about the tool on these, uh, this new workflow, um, this new roundup post, but this is pretty insane what this is doing for us right now. So as it stands, unless they change it, 
because this is using a scraper and this is um, using Copify's bandwidth and their resources to actually live scrape the internet. That's why they have to have a limitation of the 150 of, of this one right here. But if you're doing 150 roundup posts like this per month on a site or multiple sites, you're still probably going to do pretty well. Um, I can see right away that the H2s we are going to shorten down. Um, it's probably just taking that whole um, page title and then creating the H2 based off of it. But we would, we'll shorten those um, headings down to just the product most likely. So what's on number four right now, running at about 83 seconds left. All right, so this one right here is the Eurevo. Let's go see if we can come over into here, the Eurevo. And I want to go and check one of the stats that it came up with, 16.5 inches large belt. So it does have a 2.25 HP motor. Let's see if that's correct. Uh, 2.25 HP, um, 65 weight capacity, um, 265 pound weight capacity. Let's see over here, it's still writing. Does it have eight shock absorbers? Let's go check that one out. I'm gonna have to do a shock absorption, eight shock absorbers right here. So this is really insane. So far, very accurate. Let's come back over here and look at the, um, I'm not seeing the capacity, uh, cons, pros, features. Where's the weight capacity? It's not, so that's one thing it's not doing. Maybe you can only add three. Uh, we've got features, pros, cons, but it's not adding in the um, weight capacity. This is some feedback that I'll probably give them, but we do have like right here features. It did do 265 weight capacity. And that was, we were three for three um, on accuracy because that is also 265 pounds right over here. So it's actually um, on my testing, it's hundred percent accurate. This is game changing right here, guys. Game changing. Frequently asked questions. Are you looking for a quality treadmill under 800? Look no further. We've compiled some of the, um, so I don't like that right there. Um, what is, because there is no, it's not asking, it's not answering the question. Oh, okay, here we go. So what is the best and most cost-effective treadmill? So right here, frequently asked questions. We really don't need that. So I would actually delete that part right there. What is the best and most cost-effective treadmill? So it did come up with the Xterra Fitness TR150. Um, I don't know if um, that Xterra is one of the ones that we just um, put in here. There's the Sunny Health and Fitness Xterra right here. It did come up with one of them right there. And we are done. All right, so this is a giant a Roundup Post article right here. 2,800, almost 2,900 words. We hope that our list of top five treadmills um, under 823, um, it it rounded this up and it gives us our, our keyword and restates the title. This is brilliant SEO um, right here. I really, really like this. Um, I really like this. It's important to note that while these treadmills are affordable, they still provide quality features and functionality from Compact designs to powerful motors. These treadmills offer various options to uh, suit different needs. And I just grabbed those real fast. You would probably want to grab, um, you know, treadmills between seven and eight hundred dollars probably for this kind of post right here. Uh, we recommend taking into consideration factors such as size, blah blah blah. And then also one thing I would like to see, I don't think I saw, was um, the ability to shorten this down. Um, they really went into depth on each one and I would probably like to see the ability to go from, uh, you know, tiny, short, medium, and long as far as how much content you want the AI to write for each one. Because if you're going to do 10 or 15 roundup posts, you don't want this to turn into a 6,000, 7,000 word article. Um, you would want to be able to uh, do 15 of them in a 2000 word article. So they really need to, um, have the ability to not go so far into each one of these. If you, you know, if you kind of understand where I'm coming from, where we can really just kind of get into the features with a couple paragraphs above and then just move on to the next one. Um, your, your Ruvo is this one of the images. Let's go check. That is the image right here. And we come over here. That is the image right there. It is very blurry. I don't know if it's usable, if you would actually use it. Um, the next treadmill over there, there it's, it is literally pulling the treadmill, um, picture. It is pulling the first treadmill 
and that is that is really sick. So I really like that. Um, we would come in here and we would actually um, shape these up right here. We, we can pull this into the editor as well. But that is really, really, really um, insane what it is able to do. This picture obviously absolutely has nothing to do with treadmills. You would just basically delete that. Um, so that's cool. Really, really love that feature. One of the coolest AI like workflows and tools that I've seen period after doing this for two years. So that's saying a lot. Um, we're going to go in here, roundup post outline mode. Um, the people also ask mode automates research and uh, writing by finding top questions related to your keyword and tuning them down. So I'm going to go again and title, um, it's going to go find questions so we can do like a roundup post, um, answering questions, I think. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip uh, over this one, but this is a really, really cool feature. I'd have to make another video. This is it's just going to get too long, and I really want to uh, go back to the other one, the bulk writer. I want to go back to workflows, and I want to see what the bulk writer can do for us. So uh, actually, the bulk mode's coming soon, so it's not available. Okay, so we will go and let's see, write, rewrite mode. We can actually go for the same example. Uh, go over here. I'm not going to go to Sports Illustrated, but I am going to go to, let's go find one that like this one has a DA of 50. Um, and I'm just going to go grab this one right here. And let's just say we're going to grab this URL right here. And then we're going to put this uh, right there. And we're going to say best treadmills uh, under uh, 600. And I guess I'll put the dollar sign in 2023, something like that. Um, and then we're just going to go to next. We got to select our folder, of course, and push next up. Oh, you do have to put something in here, right here. We'll just do professional and next, and we'll try the text of entry right here. And that is going to be a rewrite mode of 3000 words. I don't know why, but let's go back and look and see how long this post is. And maybe that's why this is a 4,000 word article. And that's why it is so big. Um, enable auto images. Um, let's go and see. We probably don't um, want that, but it is going to probably use images that are on this site, but I'm going to go ahead and skip that for now. And we're going to go launch. I'm going to push pause while it's writing and we'll be back in a minute. All right. So we're going to go we'll just test some of this out because it's going to be writing for uh, quite a bit of time here. It's going to be writing for the next five minutes or so. Um, but we can see right here that it has Pro City L6 as the first uh, one that it's talking about right here. And we can go over to the website and Pro City Form 6 is right here. It's also, um, so it literally is just taking this. And if we go and grab this, I want to go and just uh, do a little bit of testing right here. We'll copy that and let's go into. Uh, originality, but I'm only going to be looking at this from a, um, I mean, we'll test both, but I want to check the plagiarism. And so we're going to go ahead and scan. It's not letting me scan. Uh, I don't know why it's letting me scan for detection, but it's asking me to verify my email address or something. So I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to go and use, I don't think I have any more credits in Copyscape. There's the problem. I have 64 cents. Yay premium search. So no results found for this text that uh, it just rewrote. So what you guys are looking at right now is this text right here is um, 1300. So 1400 words of text, right? What this AI Copify just did is it went out and it's taking this entire piece of content right here and it's going to rewrite it. This is ranking. And it's live scraping and rewriting this content for us, right? It's going to rewrite all this content. Come back up and look. It doesn't seem like it's that much content, but 3,400 words. Okay. So it's taking all this content and it is staying on point and it's rewriting it, right? And that's what it's doing right now. Um, let's see that we have the Urevo two in one treadmill. And let's see if that is down here. The Urevo two in one treadmill is right here. And that's what the site is doing. So, uh, it's taking this whole thing right here and it's rewriting it and it's staying on point and it's being accurate. And then it's also passing as um, plagiarism free copyscape past uh, tested um, content. This is ridiculously insane. 
I don't know how else to say this, but Copify definitely, definitely is one of the coolest AI tools and writers that I've ever seen. And that's saying a lot because I've tested, like I said, a hundred or more of these tools. They come out every single day. And I think that what Copify is doing is um, setting itself um, a, just completely on another level. Um, and this is where the AI tools are coming from or are going. I do think that this is extremely valuable um, and this is quickly becoming one of my favorite tools right here, Cobify AI. If you want to go and pick this up, really, really cool stuff. I will do more videos um, when once we get access to the bulk AI writer as well. Um, I really like that you can hook up your um, website to this and publish directly from Copify. I'll do that in the next video. I like that there's image features. It doesn't necessarily um, get some of the images may not be high enough quality to even post. It's very accurate with the images when it does the scraping. The first mode uh, that we went over, the unlimited feature um, adding in images is going to be pretty random. So you might not use the images features on that, but um, overall the content is insane and they do have algorithms um, and uh, models built on top of that. And Copify is doing something more than what just uh, chat GPT and um, open AI technology can do. And the, the, the scraping live content, rewriting it, doing all that for you is really insane. So I'm excited to uh, check out the bulk writer where we could come in here and put in 50 keywords or something like that. And then just like go to sleep, come back and then all the content ready to just go and spend the day publishing. That would be super cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to go and pick up Copify, it is available right now on AppSumo. For a lifetime deal, there's only one pricing, $59. You can go pick this up. The link will be below. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you in the next video.